Okay, let's look at the main library and the arrows work just the same. You just press the green arrow and it goes on. Uh, these are the written directions. There are 80 rooms to start us off and it's just a little bit different instead of clicking each one we're just going to go into sections so what we do is if we like these uh, these are the 10 slides here you just click to go to that part of the library when you get into the may library there hold on one second okay hold on one minute why didn't that work so this should be going into the may library I don't think I hit it hard enough. Let's try that again. Let's use my mouse. There. Okay, once you get into that part of the library, you look at your slides, and if you find something that you like, you will just click the slide itself, and you will preview this. And you can either teach from there, or you can, oh, this one has music, or that you can add it for your own and you just click use template if you would like to add that and it takes one second and it loads and then it is a copy of it for yourself so it is saved into your drive if you do not want to save it to your drive then teach it from here I prefer to teach it from there and if you need to get back you go to the home button to go to see the next set of slides you just click here when you need to go to that section you can actually click anywhere here this will take you to that section back home go to that section you can view them there's 10 slides there then you see that's changed you want to see what's there you just go here to look on what the 10 slides are here and to go to the next section so there are lots of assessments there's a lot to do with a lot of the holidays father's day mother's day and so on and then okay that was the last section that was the 11th and then you just view so again click on the home button when you want to get to that section, click on that section. When you want to view, you click on the slide itself. This is the preview button. You can view the entire presentation and preview and teach it, but where this is a drop and drag, you would actually need a copy of those photographs. So then you would just, on the right hand upper corner, that is a forced copy link. It's called use this template. You click it, just give it a second, and it will then load into your slides so that you will be able to actually use these slides. So, so far now we have 80 and we will continue adding through the month of May. And sorry for the lateness, there was a huge holiday here and I got a little bit behind. And now I'm dividing them up in sections. Uh, it's a lot of work to add individual links to each one of the slides, so I put them in by 10 by 10 by 10. Everyone have a nice day, and I will talk to you soon. Teacher Brenda, out. Bye.